Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the CTO from BIM Object. And in this tutorial video, I would like to present the Sengel Band Company Weber's block solution for Archicad and for Autodesk Revit. The Revit solution is a freestanding solution uh, developed by us here at BIM Object. So first of all, we need to go ahead and install it. So once you've agreed to the, uh, the end user license agreement, you can also choose which Revit system you have. So as you can see here, we have support for 2014 and 2015. It's a very simple and quick installation process. And once that's been completed, if you just go ahead and click finish. So if you start up Revit now, in this case, we'll be using 2015 uh, for demonstration purposes. I'm just gonna go ahead here and open up a de demo file. So after the initial installation, you get a new menu, BIM Object Evo, and in the Evo ribbon, we have three different alternatives, which I'll come back to in a moment. So I'd just like to quickly go ahead and generate. So it's a simple process by selecting walls. So this is a wall tool. We go ahead and click on generate. We have language support. So the two languages that we're supporting at this stage is English and Swedish. So this is dynamic. So by changing the language, um, you change the actual user interface. This is a HTML5 user interface here. We have the different blocks. We have the different block thicknesses available. Also the different renderings that are available for the insides and the outsides. Depending on which render type you choose, the properties update accordingly. We have some different block rules so we can mirror brick directions. We can also flip the brick directions. We also have some different corner connections that you can play around with as well. So if we go ahead and place it out, so what we've done now is we've actually turned the generic walls into a product model. So now these are manufacturer specific, in this case, Weber blocks. So you can see that we place out lintels accordingly over windows and openings. What you can also do, if we go to the next setting in the dialog, so we have settings here, by selecting the same walls, we can also change the block thickness. So by simply changing the block thickness and clicking on OK, what we're doing now is we're actually updating the already placed systems, as you can see here. And now that's been updated to the 300 millimeter thick block. We also have the family so they can be individually placed. So if there's any special high detail solutions that you would like to do, you can also place these individually. As you can see here, we have the different uh, thicknesses for the blocks. We have the half blocks, etc., corner blocks, full blocks that are also accessible. So the system is very flexible. We also have bill of materials, as you can see here. We have the lengths of the different blocks. We also have the different weights. So this is as you, what you're seeing here now is a nice rendering. And this is the final result from the Revit solution. So hopping over to the Archicad solution, in the Archicad solution, it's actually an object. And these objects are of course available on bimobject.com or via the BIM object app for Archicad and Revit, which are also free of charge. It's almost the same procedure in this BIM system. In this case, we're using Archicad. By selecting the walls, going to the design menu, design extras, accessories, wall accessories, you then have instant access to the single band web art wall solution. So we have the same settings as you saw previously in the Revit solution. We have the different thicknesses for the uh, for the blocks. We also have different rendering types. And de depending on what type of render you choose on the inside and outside, all of the parameters are, of course, updated accordingly. Now, once you've taken OK and you've done your initial settings, you can go ahead and place out the block solution. We also have a full bill of material that is available in the Archicad solution as you can see here. You can also go back by simply selecting the blocks and updating. These are also dynamic. So as you can see here, we have some error messages. So if the opening is too large, we're showing that. That means that you have to have a special beam above the windows, of course. So these solutions are available for both Revit and Archicad. They're available for immediate download via the BIM Object apps, or again, via BIMObject.com. And as you can see here, we have the final solution.